Hello everyone, welcome to this another tutorial video of EasyQ. In this video I'll walk you through how uh, the stacking hard drive works and how the stacking uh, Blu-ray drive works, how you can play the movies uh, directly from uh, your DVDs or, or play the music from audio CDs, how you can rip them. Uh, so let's get started. So if you got your EasyCube already connected uh, to the HDMI for your TV, Ethernet and power and, and all up and running, this is the beautiful library you already have in place and if you want to have all your DVDs uh, in the same way then this is what we will be doing today. So when you receive your hard drive uh, stack it will look like this. You can notice it has the same finish as the main EasyCube. Nice beautiful uh, aluminum finish. It will have the same connector as the main EasyCube both at the top and the bottom and this is how we will connect it. So you take you take it out of your packaging. Just take it over to the EasyCube and unalign it a little bit and just slide it in and you should hear a sound of click when you place it on top and here you should mount it removable storage device SDD1 so if you had another one it would say SDC1, SDD1 etc so now you've got your uh, hard drive uh, add-on working let's see how the glue add-on works so you take it out of the packaging again the same thing beautiful aluminium finish it has the opening for the uh, uh, CD right here it has the same interface for the pogo pin connectors uh, at the top and at the bottom so you want to do the same thing you want to take it over and slide it on top of it a little bit and simply let it slide and hear the sound click So when you put the CD drive on, then you would also hear some mechanical parts of the CD motor and everything moving inside. Now let's see how do we get our uh, beautiful DVD collection. This is a normal case. This is uh, only one tenth of my DVD collection here. So let's see how do we get all these DVDs into the EasyCube. So I'm gonna, I just picked up this John Carter. So let's see what happens. You take out the CD and insert it inside so you see if you push it just it will suck it inside in automatically now you can feel and you can hear the CD is moving so now your CD is inside but you don't see any option to uh, play the movie or rip the movie so that's because Cody has not recognized the CD drive so you just hold on the power button on your remote control to close the Cody and then turn it back on by holding the power button again to bring it back and here you see the disk options now if you go into the disk options you should see you can play the disk you can copy to the easy cube or you can eject the disk let's try with playing the disk so now it's playing the disk so when, you, when it uh, loads the DVD it loads with all its menus and uh, chapters and everything else that there is. You name it. So once the movie starts playing, you have access to all the. You can fast forward, pause, play. This is how it plays. And so let's say now, let's try to uh, save this movie to the easy cube. So go back to the disk options here again, disk options, select this and choose copy to easy cube. And then it will start looking at for the time it's going to take and start calculating to uh, start the DVD copy. So here it will start showing uh, DVD copy and the time remaining so normal DVDs take about 20 to 25 30 minutes about 30 minutes to uh, uh, rip a DVD or a Blu-ray disc onto the EZQ now I did rip uh, another movie before on this uh, this uh, let's go to movies uh, this is the Star Wars so it basically takes uh, the total copy of the DVD and saves it into ISO 
So let's say if I play that rip movie, it shows it as uh, complete menus and everything that it has. And it, it comes with uh, all the soundtracks, all the subtitles track and everything. And it has all the material uh, that it has. And let me show you. So basically, once the DVD is ripped, it automatically goes to the internet and to the movie database and download the, all the artwork and everything uh, for the movie. So let's see how is it playing from the rip movie. So there, here it is. I can select the scenes and I can go to a particular scene and play from there. So it's just like you're playing your DVDs as it was before. Except that you don't have to have the physical copy now and you can get rid of all the stacks of DVDs that you might have. It also has all the uh, subtitles or audio tracks that you might want to choose from. So let's see what audio tracks it has. It has these English, Spanish, French and everything. And same thing is for your subtitles. Let's enable the subtitles. Uh, here you can choose whichever subtitles you want. Let's say we go with the Spanish subtitles. And then we... So as you can see, I'm, I'm playing one ISO that already was ripped while I'm copying another DVD. Uh, one last thing I wanted to uh, mention, you can actually eject the disk using the eject function here or you can uh, hold on the stop button on the remote control and eject the disk. Uh, like, let's, let's look at it already. So I hold on the eject button while it's ripping but uh, let's abort that ripping. Uh, if I hold on the eject button you see the uh, Blu-ray comes out. So hope you find this uh, video tutorial helpful. If you have any comments, uh, uh, leave in the comments area. Thank you for watching.